It's time today for another Amazon Custom Return Electronics Palette. My favorite kind of palette. I always say it, and it still is. So today, I've got two gigantic boxes that came on one wooden palette. These are Amazon Custom Returns. So that means some items could be completely damaged and destroyed. Some could be just uh, lightly used. Some could be completely brand new factory sealed packaging. It's just a guessing game. You know what I'm saying? So, full Amazon.com MSRP of both boxes if everything is brand new, but it's not, it's custom returns. Full value, a $1,501 full MSRP. But what I paid was 260 bucks. So, it's, it's getting close to Christmas. The closer we get, prices keep going up on everything. So, uh, if there's ever a time, a certain week, prices dip a little bit, that's when I'm going to rush in and probably buy like a whole truckload of pallets. Because from now through Christmas, prices are just going to, they're, they're going to keep going up. So, I'm going to wait hopefully for that certain day where prices dip a little bit. I'm going to jump in there and just buy like 23, 26, 28 pallets. You know what I'm saying? As many as I can. So here we go. First box. And the prime time for liquidation is coming up. The best time to buy your pallets is after Christmas. Usually about three weeks to four weeks after Christmas, Liquidators start getting in the Christmas returns and a very large portion are brand new items because people return brand new stuff to Amazon after Christmas. So we're getting close. I'm getting excited because every year around the end of January through usually early April, you've got a lot of good pallets coming up. It's almost that time. So anyway, here we go. Uh, the first thing on top does not look very good, so I'm not pulling that thing out first. I'm gonna grab this. Instead, we've got a Blu-ray. First item. It is in there, so it's a Blu-ray called They Might Be Giants, and never heard of it, but uh, Blu-rays, you know, like five bucks or so. So here's what's right on top of this palette, or this first box. A whole box of Manila envelopes, fastener folders, so I always say, I do not sell office supplies by the individual item. I sell them in bulk to usually one buyer. Just because I don't like messing with office supplies and selling one item at a time. Not for me, not part of my business plan. I sell it in bulk to one person and move it all. You know, we all have our different ways of selling things. That's just how I sell office supplies. Same way as baby items. Baby stuff, I won't sell one piece at a time. I'll sell in bulk to one person, two persons, sell it that way. That's just my personal preference. Okay, we got an LED strip, 12 volt. A lot of people actually use these to decorate like their collectibles rooms. Like if you see people with autograph collection, sneaker collections, pop collection, toy collections, they'll have these things like line, uh, they're shelving and stuff. Pretty cool, you know, but uh, not super expensive though. We do have a stack of records right here. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pull these things out because I love my records and I feel like doing some records in the first box. Here we go, first record. We've got Parliament, the clones of Dr. Funkenstein. How about that? I have never received this record in a palette first time. But yeah, most all records I sell for $16 ship within the U.S. Uh, that's the ship price. Some might go for a little bit more depending on, you know, if it's like expensive or not. This is not fatty so it's just a poly bag Amazon put onto that record. Here we got, yes, the album. Fantastic condition. Yeah, once again, you know, like $16 shipped. Yeah, this one's got a little bit of crunchage on it, but what's nice though, it's still factory sealed. It has not been opened up yet, but the cover has got some crunchage. This is a Celia and Johnny. No clue. I've never heard of Celia and Johnny. I'm sure 
some people have but this thing is still factory sealed but uh yeah it just it's got some corner damage on the actual cover no weezer that's a good album right there. there's the buddy holly one i actually don't have this one i don't know if i'll keep this though but if i don't same price like 16 shipped oh we got uh we got kanye west right here uh i'm not sure which oh i guess it's called i hate being bipolar it's awesome oh i get it so yeah kanye parental advisory 16 shipped we got oh cool deep purple machine head this is the smoke on a water i might have to keep this one i might be keeping deep purple maybe we got bb king live at the regal that's cool i actually saw bb king live probably like 20 years ago it was a fantastic show it was a uh, bb king and Kenny Wayne Shepherd opened up for BB King. But there was somebody before Kenny Wayne Shepherd. Oh, it was Buddy Guy, Kenny Wayne Shepherd, and BB King. Fantastic show. That was probably 20 years ago I saw that. Melody Gardot, my one and only thrill. Never heard of her. 16 ship. And the last record, this thing's this thing's bubble wrapped. Whoever returns to Amazon, they actually bubble wrapped it. Kind of nice. Well, of course, they put some tape on the cover. Obviously. We got Free Spirit Khaled. I don't know who this is. This says The Great Khaled. Whoever that is, I do not know. Okay, so that's all the records. So uh, most of those are 16 ships. I'll probably, honestly, good chance I'll keep Deep Purple, though, in my own record collection, you know. Let's see what we got. Is this a uh, commercial electric stapler swing line? If this thing works, that's probably a good 30, 40 bucks right there. Let's see. <laughs> we got CD missing half of the case. We got an Ultra Pro Dark Wood Baseball Display. And it's, it's, it's cracked. So. Next, oh, we got another Xbox One controller. Lately, I've been getting a lot of Xbox One controllers in liquidations. They almost always work. Some um, haven't worked because like, like the joystick was broken on it, but the majority of these work just fine. And I've been selling these things for depending on if it's like a special one or not for around 30 bucks a piece and they they sell like that too they like they don't last long literally within a day they're gone number two square driver set okay why is that in electronics palette it's like a it's like a tool oh rocky soundtrack i've never seen the rocky soundtrack in a palette that's actually probably a pretty good soundtrack. Rocky soundtrack. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Cool. That's probably a good five bucks, though, I bet. A lot of the DVDs, you can't sell for like five bucks. Some of them. Like the Elvira, I probably could, actually. Here we got The Adventures of Captain Marvel. The original Captain Marvel. Double disc. Adventures of Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel now uh, goes by Shazam, but the original Captain Marvel is that guy. But the Captain Marvel changed hands. This is 1941, it says. Changed hands between DC and Marvel a few times and pretty much back and forth, something like that. And then DC got the rights to Captain Marvel. No. Yeah, I, anyway. It's a it's it's like a long thing going back and forth where they had to change change the name for legal reasons they couldn't call Captain Marvel Captain Marvel they had, they had to change it to Shazam. Chris Body live in Boston. Wow, this thing is a bootleg DVD. Bruce Lee the Big Boss. Wow, okay, that's 
100% just a burnt off of a uh, DVD-R. It's even like a very, it's just like low quality printer paper. So yeah, I won't sell that. I mean, that's, that's counterfeit. I don't sell counterfeit stuff. Okay, we've got, it's, it's in there. Xbox, I ain't check condition though. No. Xbox One. Oh, disregard. This game is cracked. Good thing I pulled out and looked at it. No, see that disc is completely split. It's not gonna work. Disregard, so Minecraft, Xbox One, that's the kind of items that you get. Some could be damaged and that one's damaged, so that stinks. Spider-Man. Do I have this game on PlayStation 4? I don't think, I, I might have to keep this one. There's discs, Spider-Man. I might have to try this out, just see if this thing's fun or not. Then I'll sell it after I play it. Let's see. Oh, we got one of those uh, really cheapy microphones for like karaoke. I sell those things for like 10 bucks if I'm lucky. I sell them, but they're just, it's not a very fast seller. Empty wrapper? Or poly bag, I mean. I, I don't know. It's some kind of part, uh, something that is not uh, like electronics. Not sure. Here we got a thing of D batteries. Oh, we got a Switch game. Oh, cool. We have Ultimate Alliance 3 Marvel for the Nintendo Switch. It's in there. There's the game. It's a nice item. I bet that's probably, I'm kind of curious about this one now. Where's my phone? I'm gonna use the Amazon app just to look it up like quickly. And a lot of people ask, why do I use Amazon to look up items? Pretty much just because Amazon's kind of like the price guy for how much things are worth. Sales new for $49 on Amazon since this thing is used. It's probably good, $30, $35. Actually, so it's getting close to Christmas time. That's gonna be close to 35 bucks right there. I'll take it. A few things left in the first box. Got a very long iPhone cord. Oh, there's the cover for that one DVD. iPhone cord Tecton. What is a Tecton? Tecton calibrated and tested. Actually, it's like a tool. Tecton, the model number is TRQ-21101. Not too sure what this thing's about, but uh, I'll look at it. It's probably not, it's probably not expensive. It's probably like 20, 30 bucks. I'll look this up later and I'll update down below pricing on this item. Now, a Tecton uh, mystery item. And then two items left in this box. We got an iPhone X. XS hybrid case. Wow, it's really, really used. It's like all scratched up. Okay, and then we got display port to HDMI cable. Okay, that's it for the first box. I mean, box of this stuff. We'll be back with the second box. Number two, here we go. So, first box went too bad. Got some video games, got some cool records. Uh, electric stapler. So, one bad, one bad. But there's gotta be some good stuff left since the value of this thing was almost 15, what was it, 1501? Gotta be some good stuff left in here still. So, here we go, first item. We got an iPhone X. Life proof, free K, oh, it's pretty used. Not new. It's a purple, purplish color, but used case. You know, lucky get like ten bucks out of it. Here we got a wall. Is this a, a clipper trimmers? We got a nice carrying case for it. Don't be used. 
Don't be used. Used are hard to sell. It's not factory packaged, but there's no there's no little hairs or anything inside of this. I think it actually might it might be newish. I don't see little hairs because these things once you use these things like one time, it's very hard to get every single little tiny hair out of the little blades on this. It's very it. It's a challenge. So that doesn't look used, but it's not a funny package. That you know, 20 bucks on that. We got a five-star notebook. It's got water damage, it's it's crinkly. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's water, the whole thing is water damage. It even has like some mold on, I think. Awesome. Next we've got oh another stapler. Another electric stapler brand is Bow Stitch. Good 20 bucks, that thing works. Indoor outdoor torque universal multi voltage digital time switch. So, like this could have some value to it. And I'm curious, I'm gonna do a quick little search with the Amazon, They're like their, their uh, picture app that they have. You can like use your camera to try to find just the box. Oh, there it is. Sells new for $84.17 on Amazon. New, 85 bucks. And this condition. Oh, cool. There is a screw on the inside that like mounts it. But actually the timer works. There's another like loose like mounting screws in this thing. So, uh, got some value to it. It appears that it's possibly new or like an open box item. So that's probably a good 50 bucks still, I bet. 50-ish. Let's see, what we got? Oh, here we got a, this. We got a box of T-nails. In electronics. Okay. That's strange. Next. Universal Night Guard Solar. <clears throat> the original Night Guard Solar. Looks like... Oh, here it is. It says... Night Guard Solar Predator Control Light. So I guess it's a Predator Light. It's probably like motion activated or something. I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's glue sticks. Elmer's Craft Bondless like glue sticks. Why is that electronics? But this stinks. This is an Oakley box. And I think it's empty. What was this supposed to be? It kind of seems small for sunglasses. Where's my knife? Oh, come on. So what is in here is, it's a lens, or this actually might be what's supposed to be in there. It's like a replacement for like racing goggles or something. It actually maybe it might be what's supposed to be in there. I'm not sure, I'll have to research that a little bit more and find out. What is, what is this turned into? This is the General Motors multi-kit uh, mounting brackets. Radio insulation kit. Brand new. Factory sealed. I mean, it's kind of electronics. It goes around an electronic item. I'll, I'll, I'll give them that. Got some AA batteries. Oh, we got a uh, computer 
what is it? Cable wise splitter. Good 10 bucks on that. Oh, this is a voltage thing. Okay. Hot hand. What? Hot handle holder. This goes to a pot and pan. If the pan's hot, you put it over the pot. Why is that electronics? That makes no sense. What? Okay. UV sterilizer. You gotta be careful with some of this stuff that's shaped like this. I've been tricked before. This says five toothbrushes holding and one replacement decal sticker included. I just have trust factors when it comes to certain objects that you can get in Amazon pallets. So it's actually, it is for like toothbrush, uh, antibacterial lamp to clean your toothbrushes. Okay. You know this thing doesn't work. I mean, it, it probably, it works, but it's just, it's just gimmicky. It doesn't actually kill bacteria. That's funny. Here's some more of these. These, another box of tea nails. Here we go. We got a microphone. Center style. This is it's kind of, it's kind of cheap. About 10 bucks on that. What is this? Here's a chainsaw blade, a, a replacement. That's kind of like, well, a chainsaw, not electronic, but I guess if it's a corded one, then it's electronics kind of. So. <laughs> I'm just trying to give Amazon the benefit of, of the doubt, I guess. Landing gear foot and pin. So this is landing gear. Landing gear, foot and pin, model number LG-119225. Okay, landing gear. Let's just call it for a helicopter. Helicopter's full of electronics, so I guess... Okay. <laughs> Keep moving. <clears throat> we got some curved glass for a cell phone. Okay, so that, you know... Three button USB wired mouse. There we go. Computer stuff. We got electronics. So we got some T nails and a wired mouse. Thirty test strips to test iron the water for iron. Okay, there's nothing I could try to connect this to electronics. There's nothing. Water and electronics do not mix at all. So. That's like outdoors there. That's different. Okay. No. So we have a safety, like a baby door hitch. So this is an armor. This is for, I used to use these for, uh, what was it? My Apple Watch. Now. Yeah. Is this for an iPad or something, maybe? I don't know. Might be for like an iPad. Okay, give me some. Let me, let me box this thing back up. Okay, the wonders of video editing. Just like that, it is boxed back up. Let's see. Then we've got a new... Is this a nose trimmer? Professional, it's a nail grinder. Okay, it's a Conair nail grinder. That might be like 20 bucks or so on that. Oh, finally, thank goodness we got a, we got a video game. Finally, second box. This box has been weird. This is Trails of Cold Steel Relentless Edition, PlayStation 4. There's all kinds of goodies in this thing. Wow. It's also a, like a... A pen that's sealed. Here is some kind of notepad that's still sealed. Here we've got a compact disc, musical selections, still factory sealed. 
And then here's the steel book for it. Is it in there? Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> so they returned it and they kept the actual game and returned everything else. So that stinks. But what's good though, I can still sell the sealed musical selection CD. And a lot of people actually will buy the empty steel cases to put their game into if they don't have the steel case. So I mean, I, I can still sell parts of this item. Kind of. So I can still make some money off, off, off of this one. It's not a, not a total loss. And there's a pin, so think positive. You know what I'm saying? Think positive. <clears throat> okay, we got a couple iPhone cords. We're getting down to the bottom here. We've got a re replacement cure K cup. Okay, a cure plugs into the wall. So you know what? I'll give Amazon the benefit of that. We'll call this an electronic replacement item. Yeah. I sell those things for like eight, 10 bucks. Oh, we got a computer uh, part. Whatever, I forget what that thing's called. Then iPhone cord. Oh, we got one of these safety child uh, brackets. Okay, that has nothing to do with electronics. That's like baby item. Strange. Okay, we've got Card Ninja. Holds up to eight cards or cash and even earbuds. Peels and st well, that's kind of neat. It's it goes on the back of your cell phone. Like it wraps. You can put. Might have tried that out. It goes in the back of your cell phone. You can, you can put stuff in your cell phone, even like cash. You want to just carry some cash with you or your ID. Let's say if you're going to like a concert, you just want to carry your ID and like 40 bucks. Huh. I'm actually going to try it out. Okay. Door lock switch. So uh, we got a door lock switch. Not electronics at all. Here we got a door sensor for smart garage. There we go. That's electronics. This actually might have some value to it also, so we're going to find out because this box has been a little interesting, you know. So this thing sells new for $29.98. It's been opened up, so it, easily $15, $20. We got a Briggs & Stratton original service parts. Sounds empty. Or like mostly empty. Okay, we got a Briggs and Stratton service part. Okay, last item in this box. It actually fits pretty good. We got the Smart Garage Hub. I've sold these before, and price-wise, I don't remember the top of my head, but it's like you know 50, 60, 80 bucks or so. Oh, cool. There it is. It, it is in there. So at least we ended on a good item. I saw it in there, so actually I wanted to end at least on something like halfway decent that has some value to it. Let me see. Let me see if I can look this thing up really quick. Let's end on something good with 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 a good price point. It is fifty four dollars and ninety one cents, so it's fifty five bucks new open box item. Thirty five, thirty. So, so that's it. That's what we got. That is the two box palette. First box was was good. It was a good box. We had video games. We had records. Some cool stuff. Box number two. This one was unusual. I'm kind of glad that I didn't do this one first because this would have been the first box. It really didn't matter. First or, or second box, you know. But yeah, box two is interesting. It had pretty much anything and everything to kind of do with electronics, but kind of not. You know, like the Keurig replacement cup. The Keurig plugs in, so technically you could say it's electronic-ish. So, replacement cup for it. You know. Anyway, that's what we got. This is real life liquidation. Sometimes you buy an electronics pallet and half of it ends up being items like... This is still going to be a profitable pallet. I'm still going to make 
money on this pallet. I won't lose a dime on this pallet. But there's going to be a lot of items that are you know, going to sell for like 5 to 10 bucks each. And uh, some might be some long tail items. Some might not. So anyway, you know what? This is the, the liquidation game. It's my full-time job. It's fun. And every day is a brand new mystery to unbox for myself. And you guys can watch it while I do it. So it's a win-win situation. So you know what? I'll see you next time. And I'm out.